Hey everybody, we are here today talking about the 2024 Emergency Response Guidebook. So every four years, the Emergency Response Guidebook is updated. So here we are at 2024 and it's the new Emergency Response Guidebook. Now, there's normally not significant changes from year to, or from every four years to every four years, but there are some details. So if you use the Emergency Response Guidebook, you need to do your due diligence to look up the items that you typically reference and just see if those items have, have changed in particular. Um, but whether you have the paper book or you have the app, there is a highlight of those key changes. Um, so we have it in the notes, a link to the website that details those changes, um, but we'll also uh, show you how you can use the app to see some of the details of those changes. Let's take a look. All right, so if you're looking at the app, um, if you have the app, it would have automatically updated. Um, at least on my phone, there was nothing I had to do. It automatically updated to 2024. So you, if you have your ERG app, it should show ERG 2024 now. And if you access that app, you'll see right at the top what's new. So if you just click on that what's new, then that's gonna be a summary of those changes. And, and just to kind of highlight, really high level, there are a few new identification numbers. And if you'll remember from our previous training, you can use that four digit ID number to then reference a guide number and the guide number tells you what to do in case of an emergency. So they have added about 11 new emergency response guide numbers or ID numbers. Um, they've re-evaluated some of those guide numbers. Essentially what that means is we used to tell you to reference this guide now we're telling you to reference this guide. So for example, uh, 2206, ID number 2206 uh, was reevaluated in the previous version. It was ERG, in ERG 2020, um, 2206 referenced you to guide 155. Now it's telling you to go to guide 156. If I remember correctly, 2206 is isocyanates. So if you ship isocyanates, then you're probably familiar with that ID number UN 2206 and just realize that your emergency response guide would be different now. How is this gonna come into play? You might be referencing the emergency response guidebook numbers on your shipping papers. So what that means is you're gonna to have to update that ERG number on, on your shipping papers. If you use this for your own emergency response protocols, you're gonna to need to cross-reference those new protocols to, to update your protocols. Um, and then also just a couple of other changes. They did remove some obsolete ID numbers. So just kind of cleaned it up a little bit. Um, and then they did add some additional reference material. They updated some of the protocols within some of the guides. Um, and one thing that I thought was pretty handy in the reference material toward the end, they added a table uh, for considerations of should somebody shelter in place or should somebody evacuate. Mm. Really with any regulatory change, and this isn't really a regulation, this is a guide, but with any regulatory change or compliance obligation change or reference material change, it just really kind of requires you to do your due diligence, to look at the changes, to see if it impacts you. Some of our listeners out there, there might not be any of these changes that impact their operations, where there might be other listeners where, you know, they, they are, are definitely subject to maybe some of these changes just because of the specific materials they, they use. But the heart of the matter is you use the guide in the exact same way. So the functionality of it has not changed. Perfect. And do you think we could see a quick example of how to use it on the app here? Um, sure. So if we go back to the app, if you have your ID number, so for example, I reference 2206 as I cyanates earlier, you just type in 2206 for the guide number and it will pop up. You'll see isocyanates 2206 um, and it all references that new guide I was talking about, guide 156. And so if you just click on that, it then takes you to the guide yep. and it tells you what to do in case of a fire explosion, uh, what the health impacts are, what to do relative to public safety, PPE, evacuation, and, and other emergency response information. Mm -hmm. So once you have that ID number, um, then it will link you into what those emergency response protocols are. Now, just a quick reminder for those from your DOT training, how do you know what the ID number is? When you are shipping a hazardous material, it is the DOT regulations that will typically, uh, and the, the hazardous materials table in the DOT regulations will also provide you that, that ID number that you can cross-reference here. Fantastic, well, sounds pretty simple, easy to use. Yep, yep. So no, again, nothing has changed relative to the functionality, it's just some of the details. Awesome. So yeah, make sure to check out that previous video we did on the 2020 version to see a really thorough breakdown of how to use the book. 
We've got the app here, and Jack, you thanks so much for taking yeah. us through that. Absolutely, absolutely. Stay safe, everybody out there. Stay safe, like, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one, everybody. Bye. Bye.